Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the Dak attack is officially on the rack. Dak Prescott will be out multiple weeks with a hamstring injury that is worse than initially thought. Let's get right into it, and uh, this is going to be an interesting one. This is going to be an interesting one. Ian Rappaport is reporting Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott's hamstring injury was worse than initially feared. He is expected to miss multiple weeks, sources tell me and Tom Pelissero. In fact, this is not looking like a short-term injury. Cooper Rush is the team's backup. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like all of those hateful, morally bereft man children are finally going to get exactly what they've been asking for. We're about to enter the Lance Dance, or the Rush Flush. I don't care what y'all want to call it, but it's about to be, it's about to be interesting, bruh. And uh, I just want to say, I think it's time we officially say it is tank season for the Dallas Cowboys. At this point, y'all need to be taking anybody that's nicked up or a little bit injured or bruised, y'all need to be taking them dudes off the field and just try to get the highest possible draft pick in every one of these upcoming rounds, especially with all these comp picks and stuff we got coming because y'all let the whole team walk out in free agency. Just, just tank at this point, y'all. Just tank. One player isn't going to fix this season. Trading for a guy is it going to fix this season but tanking and trying to get a really good draft pick to add to this team is going to probably be the only way to try and fix this team for the foreseeable future they're not going to be active in free agency they're more than likely not going to make major splashes with trades so the best way for this team this particular dallas cowboys team with the way our gm wants to run it the best way for them to get better off of this year this is this year is a wrap this year is officially wraps y'all the only way for them to get better off of this year is by them getting a ton of highly talented draft picks. And hopefully, hopefully they don't draft anybody with a podcast or anybody that looks like they want to be fashion models for Vogue magazine. That's all I got to say. But let me go ahead and address another point that some of you very, very insecure, hateful, bitter men out there who clearly have never been able to accomplish anything in your own lives. So the only way you can make your own pitiful little ego feel slightly better is by trying to devalue the accomplishments of others, namely Dak Prescott. Those of you guys that are out there that really try to come on my channel and make videos, shit breeze. Those of y'all out there that try to say that Dak Prescott faked an injury, you should be walking down the street with three shoes on, two on your feet and one in your ass because that was an ass a nine, ass a 10, ass 11 take. Now look, I'm not one to tell nobody how to get it. Get it how you live, man. Enterprise however you can. But what I will say is, it's really, really pathetic when you have to make an entire identity off of hating another man. We have to make an entire identity, an entire brand off of hating another man, trying to devalue what everyone is clearly seeing on the field. It's funny that people like Shit Breeze and the Medinas and the Martinez's and the Garcia's and the Diaz's and, and the Make America Greats Again. It's funny that people like those folks felt like the Atlanta game was the perfect time to talk about how Dak Prescott was a $240 million waste of money. Yet, he was the highest graded offensive player for the entire Cowboys team against the Falcons by PFF. And as much as I talk about PFF, the NFL is giving them some legitimacy because they're now using them in their player intro. So PFF has some credibility with the NFL and they graded Dak Prescott as the highest graded offensive player for the entire Dallas Cowboys team. Yet you morons, for some reason, you Cro-Magnon Section 8 beans and weenies eating ass fools out here have the audacity to want Dak Prescott's name to be the very first name out of everyone's mouths to satisfy your sick, deluded hate fetish for Dak Prescott. Now, let's keep it a buck, y'all. Dak ain't been great this season, but if you know football, even a little bit, and if you're gonna get on this platform or any platform for that matter and try to talk football, you better know football. But if you know football even a little bit, I want you to do me a favor. Tell me one of these times, tell me this mythical season in which a quarterback was able to carry a team that's just this inept, this inept to the playoffs or anywhere meaningful 
in that year. Tell me a time where a quarterback was able to overcome a bad offensive line, a bad running game, bad receivers, bad defense, bad coaching, bad ownership. Tell me that time. Point to that season for me. Oh, you can't. Because all you're doing is letting your insecurities and envy drive your hatred of Dak Prescott, drive your content of Dak Prescott, whether it's a fan or creator. Shit breeze. But now we really gonna get to see exactly what's going on with this team. Now we gonna get to see what this team looks like without Rain Dakota Prescott in the driver's seat. Now everyone's gonna get the true opportunity to see if Cooper Rush can replicate the success he had when Dak went out a couple of seasons ago. If he can replicate that success or if Trey Lance even can replicate that success and lead the Cowboys to more victories and make them look better than what they had looked with Dak Prescott there. Let's see. It should be fun, but either way, we're going to be without QB1 for at least a few weeks, and, and likely we're probably not going to see Dak maybe at all the rest of this season. So this is, this is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. This is a major, major blow to my viewing pleasure as a fan, as a Cowboys fan of watching the team, but the show must go on. As much as Dak is my guy, I am a Dallas Cowboys fan. I am going to continue to want my team to do well. So if Cooper Rush or Trey Lance could come in there and they could sling that rock around and they could look a lot better than what we have been looking, then I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna be objective. I'm gonna be honest and I'm gonna come up here and ask the questions that need to be asked. What is going on? Why did they look so much better when Dak Prescott wasn't the quarterback? If that actually happens. But until then, until we get some empirical data that actually shows that Dak Prescott is the main reason that this team is struggling, I'm not gonna sit up here and make content just to satisfy some of you guys as hate boners. I'm just not doing it, bro. But Dak Prescott, out multiple weeks, We'll see what this team is going to do. At this point, I would love for Jerry to go ahead and start selling some guys off. Go ahead and start getting rid of some of these guys. Get rid of some of these guys that feel like they're bigger than the star. At this point, this team needs to look at everything it can to put itself in position to be better. Now, for those of y'all that think this is going to be the opening for the Cowboys to get off of Dak Prescott, unless it's just some kind of career-ending injury, then no, that's not happening. He has a no-trade clause in his contract. His contract is damn near fully guaranteed. You're not getting off of Dak Prescott. So y'all can talk about a waste of $240 million all you want. Guess what? All the complaining and bitching and belly aching ain't gonna make what you saying in your version of reality the truth. We have film. We have empirical data. There's professionals out there trying to tell y'all there's so much more going on wrong than just the quarterback. But again, some of you pathetic wastes of life are out there and the only thing you know is to hate because that's what you've crafted your whole identity on. All of you guys can continue to conglomerate at the bottom of the bowl like the massive pile of diarrhea that you guys are. Dak is my guy, but the show must go on. And we stick them same old cowboys. It's tank season, y'all. We need to go ahead and start tanking. Calling me, texting me, paging me, asking me, am I still the ball? Y'all usually check on me. Listen, 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 listen. I'm still the boys. Hey! Woo! Hey! Hey! I'm still the boys.